we live? I need to make sure we're live. And refresh. Okay, I think we are. So I want to make sure I am using um, Facebook's new like live producer and I still I just there's so many options um, and I <laughs> I um, just keep on clicking all the options and the buttons and choose what I think I want on there so go ahead and I'm gonna make sure I can see your comments but go ahead and let me know oh I do see a comment okay so let me know can you hear me hi Carrie Carrie, you can hear me well, is that okay? Yeah, I just wanna make sure this live producer is going well. Um, I usually do a whole different setup, but I wanted to test this out because it was new and it um, would help promote, if I use it, help promote the video, so. All right. Yes, you can, okay. So, um, hi you guys, uh, this, I'm Lori, uh, I own Canvasly Chromatized Paint Parties and you probably have watched me live before. Um, I did a lot of free classes um, during COVID and then I had my baby, um, so I've really just been focusing on my Happy Little Painters Club. And so that is actually what I'm here to talk about today. Um, first of all, I always like to paint with an adult beverage, so full transparency, um, but uh, you do not have to. Uh, this is, I don't have instructions up for this, I don't really have anything up for this, but I wanted to come on and paint something fun with you guys while I talk about the club. Um, and if you are on, go ahead and tell me um, where you're from and watching from, um, because I'm going to give away a few prizes during this live for people who are watching. So I'm going to pick two winners throughout the live. And I'm going to get some colors on here. This is, I hope you can see this okay. I will post um, the tracers and stuff for this if you want to later. I did Sharpie it so you guys can see it a little bit better, but there are certain parts I didn't want to Sharpie because I knew it wouldn't be black. So this is just a fun, easy painting. Um, and I will, um, if you are in the Happy Little Painters Club, I will post that in there as well. So I'm going to get some colors on my plate. I'll show you and tell you what colors I'm using. Um, I'm using Deco Art paint though, so if you um, have a certain brand of paint that you love better than Deco Art, go ahead and use that. Um, anytime I post colors or anything, you don't have to use the same exact colors. Just keep on using the colors that you prefer. Let's see, maybe some yellow. And as you can see, I am hanging out with Bob and I have some porch signs. I'm going to sell those next weekend. As long as it's not smoky, it's been super smoky, um, you know, everywhere, right, on the West Coast. Um, but as long as it's not smoky, I'll be at the Arlington Farmer's Market and I'm going to sell some porch signs and some paint kits. And I just got my huge delivery of um, all of my wood designs um, that if you saw in the event, I have like a Hocus Pocus uh, with the three, which is one of my favorites. Um, and then I have like a Grinch, oh, this is, this is dried up. I have a Grinch, uh, door hanger, um, and a few like home designs for those people who really just like the simple look. It's really exciting. Uh, I need to grab another brown. Let's go. This is good enough. Romber. All right. Hello, hello, hello. All right, I'm gonna use my teeth and open this. I don't ever recommend this. Blech. Also doesn't taste good. Oh, it didn't work. Blech. All right, so if you um, are just hopping on, go ahead and tell me where you're from. I'm gonna be doing um, some prizes during this. So I have a few colors. Oh, I need oranges too. My pumpkin is gonna be orange. Um, so I have a few prizes I'm going to give out and then um, my colors I'm using, I'm going to do orange for the pumpkin. I think I'm going to try like a yellow background um, and then it's just got a banner on it and some green leaves and pretty basic stuff here. Um, so I am going to grab my one inch brush. Actually, I'm going to take my beverage sip here. Hmm. Nicole from Stanwood, hello, very local. Mount Vernon. I love seeing all the locals on here. Yeah, everyone here has that same like 
really nasty smoke. Uh, today, was it yesterday that was supposed to be the worst, I think? And then it's supposed to get better. They say that we're going to have rain and that's going to lift it up and kind of take it away, I guess. Um, but it's strange. Like, it just smells like a campfire outside. And, um, you know, it, it sounds really bad, but I like the smell of it. I don't support the wildfires, but uh, I do really like the smell of it because I haven't been camping at all this year. That sounds really terrible. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. But, um, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it, it just reminds you of s'mores and all that good stuff. Stuff that I didn't get this year. Alright, so I just chose a yellow for my background. Uh, you can choose any color background you want. And I'm just roughly going over everything because I can still see my pencil lines and I'm not too worried about it. And definitely my Sharpie. That is Sharpie that's on there after I traced it on there. And so you guys, if you're hopping on, so this video is all about, um, I am going to paint with you guys. I'm going to teach you how I'm doing it. Um, but I wanted to chat about my Happy Little Painters Club. It's opening it back up tomorrow. I opened the doors initially in uh, March. I think it was March when COVID hit. Um, and I definitely didn't think it would go as crazy as it did. People were really looking for something to do, uh, something to stay creative, you know. Um, and it was great. Um, you know, I took a big pivot in my, in my career because I couldn't do in-person classes anymore. Um, and I had to reschedule a lot of them. And so I chose to go online and start this membership. I offered a lot of free videos, and you can still find those too. Um, I offered a lot of free videos, and it was doing really well. So I took a, a risk, and I went into a membership um, where I go in there. Uh, so you get three tutorials a month. You get um, So they actually were all live in the beginning. Uh, and I had, I think I had... 40, I had 46 founding members that when I first opened it, it was amazing. Um, but I was going live with all of it. Uh, but then once I had my baby, I found these lives to be very interesting to try um, with him around, uh, which um, obviously is definitely a blessing, but um, it's hard to go live when he's, you know, screaming or needs mommy. And um, I haven't figured out the whole baby wrap thing yet. Um, so... For the last few months, the two main tutorials have, have been recorded. Um, and you guys, I'm just using, I think I have a, so for that background, I used a lemon yellow. And then for these pumpkin, I'm actually using um, two oranges. So I'm using canyon orange and bright orange. And I'm just mixing them with a little bit of white so it gives it like a faded pumpkin. And you want to make sure to paint with like in, like in the skeleton formation, right? So you want to circle with the shape of the pumpkin. Just like so. And go back and forth. And you end up going kind of straight in the middle. Uh, so I do, I go live for date night. We have date night. And I'll tell you about that in a second. Um, but we do two recorded lives. So I have a calendar that I post. And you get to see what painting's coming up and what you'll be doing this month. And what release dates I'll release each of those paintings. So oh, I just got a ton of black on my brush. Don't do that. Mount Vernon. Howdy from Texas. Oh, hey, Melissa. Yes, yes. And I have a sweet message, actually, with Melissa on. That reminds me. Um, so the two lives, or the, I'm sorry, the two lives that were once lives and now are recorded. Um, I'm hoping to get back to lives for your normal tutorial releases. Um, and of course, they stay in the group. You don't have to watch the live to make the tutorial, right? Um, it posts in what we call a unit section, so there's always a place to find it. So whenever you want to paint it, uh, you can definitely just go right on in there and grab like the, um, you'll have a tracer, you'll have a supply list, uh, you'll have a reference image of the painting, um, and then the tutorial, if it's recorded live or pre-recorded, it'll be in that unit. Um, and it's a monthly unit, so like September, I have two pre-recorded release dates where I release all the information for those, um, and then I have the date night, and other fall, like, just fun fall things right now, so... We did, uh, if you joined, we did the fall ball challenge where we painted um, some awesome like witches and owls and people were so creative on that. Um, and for challenges like that, everyone in the Happy Little Painters Club gets in for free and it's really easy because if I make like a separate group, 
um, I can click on that group to just allow it to accept them automatically. So if you're in the group, you get in. Otherwise, it's like a $15 charge, which is already half your monthly membership. And I um, do these challenges, I would say, seasonally. So I, I plan to do a winter one. Um, and then any bonuses, you guys get bonuses in there too. So lots of fun things there. Um, let's do... Let's do these flowers. So I'm going to do these flowers like a teal color. Um, I might not like it, so bear with me for a second. I'm going to mix a little bit of white and teal. I think the teal I'm using is Laguna. That's a really common one to find in the art store. When does October... Oh, Carrie, um, that is actually coming out today or tomorrow. So tomorrow, because the Happy, Li Happy Little Painters Club opens tomorrow, I want to make sure to have that in there. Um, so when everyone comes in, they know what they're painting for October. So I actually have it set. I'm just kind of actually making it pretty. But uh, I can post that actually today or tonight. Um, so this date night that we have, we painted, we just had a date night. When did we? It's Saturday. We just had the date night Saturday. And so I invite my husband live with me, and he comes on. Um, we always encourage you to, if you know, if you have kids, I mean, we try, um, <laughs> right now at least, uh, if you have kids, to put on a movie or, you know, get a babysitter and just have some time for yourself um, and your partner to come on and paint. And if you don't have one, you do not need one, um, you can paint the actual picture of date night on one canvas. Uh, you don't have to paint on two, or you can paint on two and just paint by yourself. It doesn't matter. Um, and we have been doing, I've been doing a trivia uh, for anyone who's on and watches the live. Uh, they don't have to be painting, but it's just fun to have those people on there and to converse. Um, we do a trivia, so like we just did a beer night. You guys might have seen the picture I posted. We just did a beer night, and then we had beer trivia. Last week we did a, um, a camping tutorial. And then we did like an outdoorsy trivia, and I gave away gift cards for that. Um, and I do an e-gift card of your choice to a craft store. Um, but also if you wanted like Starbucks or Ulta or something, I would totally give you one for that. So you get to choose where you want you, your gift card to. And the date nights are super fun. Um, my husband always does something really strange on his paintings, so now he's known for that. Uh, and people expect that. And I felt uh, our last one, the beer one, uh, he said he had a great idea, but the canvas we were painting was too small, so he couldn't do his idea. So I, I never actually found out what that was. One time he painted, on the camping one, he painted a Sasquatch and named him Daryl. October, oh, I gotta scroll up on these comments. Awesome. Um, and then on, <laughs> we painted an elephant one, um, and he painted his elephant, and I forgot to do arms on elephants. Um, until someone pointed it out during the live, <laughs> and it was, it was really funny, um, and I was like, okay, well, let's, you know, maneuver in some arms, like some big elephant arms, right? So we worked that out, and I'm painting, and we're teaching, and uh, someone says, Scott, I like your arms, and I was like, what are you, like, what are they referencing to? And I look over, and he has, like, these, like, little T-Rex arms on his elephant. It's so funny. That, that picture is on, on the website, too, somewhere. Um, and on the Facebook. You guys should check it out. It's really funny. But we like to make it fun. Um, and then there's always going to be, so now I'm scheduling some guest speakers. Um, I'm scheduling some guest speakers. I'm going to try to do it every month, but every other month. So this September we have um, a gal coming on. Her name is Jamie. And she's going to do some art journaling with us. Um, I found this very helpful because since COVID, and I'm not back to my regular, um, I guess you would say regular, this is also my regular day job, I don't know. I guess I considered this my regular night job at one time, because I would do paint parties, you know, at, at venues. Um, so I'm a, a dental hygienist, so I don't know, like, that's my career, this is also my career, whatever you want to call it. So since I'm not back to that, because of baby, I'm doing this, and I found I have to schedule... Um, I really have to write down my schedule all the time, like daily, and my to-do list. So she's doing that, and I've, I've taken a class of hers, and it's really fun. It's just really a fun way to, like, start your morning and organize your day. Um, so I'm excited for that. All right, so I took my round brush. I don't know. This is an eight round. It depends on your brand, but it could be a different size. 
um, comparatively, you can see my painted hand. What? Let's see. Hold it up. It's like one portion of my pinky. Uh, it's from China. I, I don't know what brand it is. I found it that I, I think I've had it for a long time. And it's my favorite round brush. And then I just mixed some brown and white to do the stem. Now these flowers, they would be outlined for you, right? Um, or you would outline them if you want them. I can see that. So I just filled in a base coat. We're going to come in and do some details on those too. Yeah, Carrie, he's such a great sport. That's funny. Yeah, he definitely is. Um, he has done quite, quite the weird things. All right, so I'm going to let my pumpkin dry a little. Well, it's pretty dry. Okay. So our pumpkin's dry. What I'm going to do is kind of brighten it up and also make more of the skeleton look on it. I want to call it like the rinds, but I don't think that's a thing. So I'm going to take my uh, number 12 flat brush here. I'm going to grab some yellow and I'm just going to kind of highlight it. It's okay to go in the banner because we're just going to cover it. I'm going to highlight it in certain areas just to give it a little bit of pop here. And it's okay if it's still a little bit wet. Um, it blends a lot better that way. So that's a little bit of yellow. I just did it on the top. I'm going to come back in with just my regular dark orange. You can also take red. Red would be very nice here. And I'm just going to come up sideways and kind of do, you'll start to see kind of like the outline of the pumpkin and the skeleton, right? So I'm going to come up and do the little little lines to separate the sections here and I might do I'm gonna try to avoid too much on the banner and do the same thing on the upper part just to make it connect actually there we go. something like so and we have that yellow in there and I'm just gonna take a little bit more dark orange I do want to just deepen up like the bottom a little bit Kind of just free brushing towards the bottom and swiping up. And if you want to, go back into mixing the two with a little bit of white just to blend it a little bit better. But not too much. We're going to add some fun details here. Yeah. So every day this week, I plan on going live and teaching you something really fun. Just to get an idea of what we're actually going to be painting. Um, in the club and I'll have a better idea of guest speakers and what I'm planning to offer too. I will every time I do a tutorial on the porch signs you'll get that too. Um, and it's so it's $39 a month which um, it was hard for me to, to create that price especially during COVID times but um, if you think about it an actual paint night in person averages depending on where you're painting from um, and what company averages about 30 to 40 now it's more like 35 to 40 um, so one painting and then you don't get to keep your supplies or anything like that. And yes, with this, you do have to buy your own supplies, but it's very basic. So you never have to use, um, exactly what I'm using. As I mentioned, uh, you can keep it basic. I will list the exact colors I'm using. Um, so if you want to follow it, you can, but you do not have to, or you don't even have to use the same brand of paint. And then I'll post the tracers, so if you want to freehand it, you can, or you can just trace it over the canvas, like this. So you still, you won't be able to see the pencil lines afterwards. I'll make sure to give you tips and tricks on how to hide that. So I'm just taking black and outlining these leaf stems, little swirls here, like so. Cool. Um, and then the other fun part is really it's just the community and seeing what everyone is posting. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of tan and now I'm going to go over this banner here. Let's go. I'm going to mix a very light tan color. Just some brown and white here. Sometimes I get yellow and other things in it, but that's okay. Uh, but the community, so like Carrie's in there, you know, and she, um, she posts. You know, everyone posts their, and you don't have to, but people post their pictures when they're completed because not only do they they just want to share their journey their paint journey right so you know they want tips and tricks like what do you suggest I do here or you know I'm really happy with this and or I wasn't really happy with this one but I still wanted to share it because 
I made an advancement in my painting journey, right? So um, it's, I love the community. People are so nice there. We don't tolerate anything rude. Um, it's just, it's, it's not competitive at all. You just are able to post your pictures or questions um, and let other people just comment on your posts. Um, obviously, if something bad happened, you can report it to me, but that has not happened to date. And with the people we have in there, I don't ever expect it to happen. Um, but it's a really, it's really fun to see, especially like if you've seen, you know, someone create something different. So if I'm teaching something like this and they change it up their own way, right? So we start to see their, uh, I guess it's their like painting characteristics. And it's not, it's fun to see that, you know, you, you don't really get to change the way you're painting. You always have that one characteristic. And I, you know, if one person paints five different paintings, um, and, you know, we can give them tips and tricks on how to paint it, but I can always, you know, at this point, if, you know, one person posts five paintings, I can almost identify who painted it just by seeing, like, their brush strokes or something. It's, it's actually really crazy. All right, so I'm outlining this banner. I'm going to cover this, and I'm going to fill this in now, um, and it will cover the orange, but I'm going to try to leave, and it's okay because I'll just freehand it, but... I do want to try to leave that grateful showing. Let me grab a little, I need to grab a little bit more white. Um, so we either use, or I like to use in my tutorials, um, deco art. Um, and then sometimes I use uh, Liquitex Basics on some of the fancier paintings. You know, if you want them to look a little bit nicer, that's what I like to use. Um, and at least with deco art, so many colors are so similar, so you really don't need... Every store sells in every state different colors. I get mine at Michael's. Um, eventually, I'm going to, once COVID finances kind of come back to life, I'm going to start stocking like a starter kit um, for anyone who joins. That way I can mail it to them if they want the supplies and don't want to go get them at the store, because we all know that when COVID hit... Uh, Paint supplies were hard, any, you know, anything was hard to find, but paint supplies were like sold out everywhere. So I was teaching these tutorials and people were like, literally can't find a canvas right now, so I'll paint it later. Um, so that was pretty interesting, but for the most part, everything's been back in stock and it's been pretty, fairly easy. Um, I've noticed, you know, we also have, so I always schedule in a creative week. So in that creative week, I'm not teaching tutorials. Um, and it's, it's not like you have to keep up on pace. You don't have to do the scheduled paintings in order. You don't even have to do all of them. You're not held to any, anything. You're in there for you. Um, so that creative week is a time for if you do want to paint and catch up, like I'm not constantly posting a tutorial for you to come paint to where you feel like you can't. But the cool thing is, is you have access to all those at all the time. So as long as you are in the group, uh, you have access to all these paintings. Um, and the tutorial, so all the tutorials, the supply list, everything. So you have access to that. If you cancel the group, uh, you don't get access to that. So you don't have the rights um, to do kind of what you want with it. So now I don't allow paint and sip teachers to come in and use these designs for theirs. Uh, but I do allow my painters to paint something and sell them as their own. Or give them away as gifts, anything like that. Yeah, Carrie, everyone is always very supportive. It's so true. Hey, does someone want to do me a favor? I, I might not have done this right. Can someone just type the word happy? And if I did it right, you should get a link. Carrie's already in it, so if she types it, it's a little bit different. But if I did it right, you should get a link message to you in Facebook. I'm not sure that I did. There's a whole bunch of technology here that I'm learning today. All right, so I did a light tan on the banner, um, so I'm just going to take my regular brown brush, brown brush, my regular brush, round brush, with some brown on it, uh, and just kind of throw in some broken dark brown lines, just to kind of give a, like a shadow look to this ribbon here. And you can change your words, too. You do not have to have the word grateful, you can put beer, you can put pumpkins, you can put whatever you want. Happy, happy, good. So let me know if you guys get anything messaged to you. Um, 
I might not have done it right because if I'm using Facebook Live Producer, it might not let me. It should go right away, so if you don't get it, you're probably not going to get it. So $39 a month, um, and then you are locked into that price. There's no time commitment. You do not have to stay in the group. If you are in there, you decide you don't like it, uh, you can. You have to cancel it on your end. through. It's uh, You do not have to have a PayPal to sign up, but you do cancel it on your end through PayPal. You can, um, it, you can just put in a card, too. You do not have to have a PayPal account for that. So I'm taking my light brown and just kind of scattering it through so you can still see a little bit of the dark shading. I'll hold this a little bit closer. So you can still see it, but it's still kind of mixed in. And I'm leaving some orange showing through on purpose because this, to me, is supposed to be like a sheer kind of ribbon. And then I'm going to rinse off this brush. And I'm going to go into some green... And I think I'm going to paint my leaves green, and we're going to come back and add a little bit more to all this here. So I'm going to go, I think the first thing I'm going to do is grab my forest green. I think that was forest green. Yeah, forest green. And I'm going to do a base coat and just outline my leaves and then fill it in. So when you're doing really thin lines, with, I like to do it with a round brush. You can do a liner brush too, but you want to use, like if you're painting, you want to use the very tip of that very last bristle and a very light touch. This is me like almost tickling it. Now if I were to push harder, it's thicker, right? So very tip of that very last bristle gets a very thin line. Um, that's really hard to do if you don't paint that often. We also provide, so in um, different, different, I guess, levels of paintings. So there's paintings for beginners. There's a little bit more advanced, but I certainly don't go so advanced that it's not like it's not fine art by any means. It's cartoony, it's whimsical, whimsical, whims, whimsically. <laughs> I guess maybe is not a word. It is now, but um, so some fun ones. I think the hardest one we have would be maybe like the cow or something, right? So something like this. But you learn step by step and. Um, I've seen pictures posted from the beginner painters and it looks phenomenal. So I know it's easy enough for anyone to follow. But we have like a little farm animal series and I, I really like that. Okay, so not yet. So it's not working. Okay, well I put the link. If you guys aren't in the club, I did put the link for the wait list in the description. Uh, you can click on that. If you sign up for the wait list, you will get notified tomorrow morning. Uh, when the club opens so it will only be open for a week and then I'm closing it hi Terry oh thank you I put on makeup for you guys today it's not an everyday occurrence uh, so it's only open for a week and then it will not open again till spring 2021 but I'm not sure of that date yet and then it's going to go up a little bit in price. Um, you know, not only, so I give away gift cards and, you know, we do trivia and prizes and you get in free for all of the other, you know, anything else that, like, other people would have to pay for, you would get in for free. Um, you would get discounts. So when we start going in person again, uh, you'll get a discount for that for a free paint night every month. I'm just hoping that that was in my plan and then we just never got back to in-person paint parties. I'm dying for that though. And then for anyone who's distant, who's not local to me, so can't take advantage of that, they're going to get something else. I just haven't decided what yet uh, because that part is not in action. Um, and then after tomorrow, each member is going to have access to their own member portal. So you will also have the option to go to your member portal instead of just on the Facebook um, to see all these paintings, especially if, you know, not everyone has a Facebook. So if they do hear about it or want to sign up, um, they have access to just a website and not the Facebook, um, which will also just link you to YouTube or something. So although I promote this on Facebook mostly, um, there's still another option for everybody else. All right, so that's the first coat of green. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back to my pumpkin. Now, I'm just going to do some scattered lines. So I'm going to take some brown, 
and just do some broken lines here. Maybe not all the way up everywhere. This is a great color to cover any pencil lines if you have them showing. I didn't pencil line in any of these uh, skeleton portions of the pumpkin, but if you did, this would be a great color to cover it. So scattered brown lines, and then I just wipe off my brush. Uh, I'm gonna take some white and do the same thing, but maybe not in the same place, right? So it's not gonna touch the brown. It's okay if it does, but, uh, and do the same thing. Do some highlights on the pumpkin. Maybe I want to do one right here. And because we have turquoise flowers, what I'm going to do is take a little bit of the turquoise. I love adding blue to pumpkins. I don't know what it is. And do a little bit of blue as well. So whatever color you make your flowers, this would be a really good highlighted color. Just a little bit there. Nice. Okay. So let's come back to our flowers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit, so this was turquoise mixed with white, or teal, whatever you wanna call it. Now I'm just gonna come in and on the base of it, I'm just gonna kind of, on the base of each petal, I'm just going to blob in some regular dark teal. Nothing fancy, nothing major here. You don't wanna even think about it too much, you just wanna get some color on there. I'm going to do this to each petal. Kind of like so. Sometimes you do like, where is the bottom of that petal? I don't actually really know. But close enough to the other petal, right? Uh, okay, so it didn't work. So yeah, you can join the, the wait list through the link if you want to. Otherwise, you get this fun little tutorial for free. So after this live, I will scan in the tracer after I penciled it on. So you guys will have access to that and you can watch this tutorial over and paint it if you would like. All right, so we got some turquoise in there. I'm gonna take uh, a little bit of white and do like a highlight on the tops, maybe just a little blob here and there of white too. So maybe a few thin lines on the tops and then just blob some teal, I mean sorry, blob some white around the teal that you already put on. I will bring this up close so you can see what it actually looks like too. I don't know about you guys but I'm, I'm just so excited for fall because I didn't really get to enjoy my summer, um, but it's just nice to be able to wear like a sweatshirt and not sweat to death um, and just be comfy. But as long as I hope the smoke goes away so we can have our windows open again. Uh, not to mention I have some super adorable clothes for my little baker boy. Uh, that I'm excited for him to wear, and they're all long sleeves. So right now he's a hot box, so I can't really put him in even a onesie half the time because he just sweats right through it. Okay, let me bring this up close so you guys can see what it looks like. So it's very blobby, very technical. So that's really what it looks like up in person. So right now it kind of looks crazy. So let's go, I'm going to grab some more green, I'm going to grab a lighter green, I think this one is bright green, also festive green, any kind of brighter green would work, and then I'm just going to come in and add some bright green to the leaves. Just little lines everywhere. I'm not going to fill it in completely because I have that base coat of dark green here. There we go. And then that's still wet, but that's okay. I'm going to grab, this is a yellow green, like a citron green. And I'm going to do the same thing. Just put multi-green colors in here. There we go. So the painting in itself, the reason why I started even painting or teaching, you know, paint parties is because I found it so relaxing. So 
Um, you know, this was the time that I would set aside for myself uh, during a busy week or a busy day, and I would come home and I would set up my little space, um, and I would find a picture I wanted to paint, and I would just start painting. Um, or, you know, like I call it like Frankenstein, so find three pictures you want to paint, and then put them all together or something. Uh, so that was my downtime, and I thought that it was it's such an important thing for us to be able to do for ourselves um, that we we weren't doing enough before COVID, right? So um, now with COVID, I see a lot more people doing it more often, which is great. Um, but now people are starting to go back to work. Uh, people are starting to you know get busy again, homeschool their kids completely, like full time. That's just so crazy. Um, and so this is a really good uh, opportunity for you just to find that little space of time. And the best part is it's not like a scheduled, um, it's not this scheduled thing that you have to attend or if you don't, you lose your spot, you lose your ticket, right? It's not like that. It's, uh, you can access it anytime. You can be in your pajamas. You can be, uh, you can, you know, have whatever beverage you want. Uh, you can you know, wear a Halloween costume for all I care. You can sit anywhere. Uh, your house can be a disaster. No one is here to judge you but yourself. And I always just encourage you not to be hard on yourself, especially if you're a beginner painter, because we all have to start somewhere. And once you do it enough, it does get easier. And if you just try not to stress out, that's the whole idea behind it. I want to create a relaxing environment for everybody. Um, to just find, you know, peace while painting, but to find that creative confidence. Um, you know, you look at this when it's done, you're like, I couldn't paint that. Well, this one actually is uh, pretty straightforward. You look at that cow and you think, I can never paint that. But if you just watch the tutorial step by step, one step at a time, um, it comes naturally half the time. And yeah, maybe yours won't look like mine, and that's fine. It won't look like anybody's. Uh, you can paint it twice, and you couldn't even paint it the same again. So it changes every single time. Um, and I, I do encourage people sometimes to just paint it twice and see, you know, see how it's different. Because now, you know, the second time you know what to expect. You know where you're going with your brush or, you know, what didn't work out the first time. And it's called the Happy Little Painters Club because I completely, yes, I'm in love with Bob Ross. I'm not technically in love with him. That's weird. Um, but, uh, I like the idea of, you know, no mistakes, just happy accidents. That's so true. Um, nothing's a mistake on canvas. You look at a canvas that's painted, you know, on the top it's painted green, on the bottom it's created, it's, you know, painted red. Um, and someone famous could sell that for like $80,000. Is it considered art? Well, technically, because it's made with art supplies, right? But... I mean, would you pay $80,000 for that, or would you rather pay $80,000 for this masterpiece, right? Yeah. Oh, Janelle, you love this group. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, I love seeing all of you guys in there, and I love just communicating. That's why I can't wait to go live again with my tutorials once he gets on a bottle, which should be very soon. Cheers to that. Okay. So I did those little, technically they're called swirly loop-de-loops. That is a new term. Um, with some green, I did it with light green, took some dark green and went back over it too. You can do as many as you want. Uh, so with the brown one that I had here, this is gonna be a brown stem, so I don't know why I didn't fill it in. So I did it, I outlined it with a uh, light brown, probably because I was just talking away. And I'm gonna fill it in with dark brown and we'll play with the shading here. Something like so. Yeah. So some other guest speakers, guest speakers, guest artists, I guess, that um, I'm considering on bringing in are people who teach, you know, different, you know, some, I'll bring in some, maybe some canvas painters if I really like one of their paintings and I'll ask them to come in, but I want to kind of branch out and do something, you know, like maybe have a different multimedia projects. So, you know, an acrylic pour or, you know, alcohol inks or um, origami. Um, I saw someone doing origami today and I haven't done that in so long. So, so long. What? And that's a space. So then I want, okay. I don't know what I was doing with my swirl here, guys. 
let's let's fix this here. This one will come down. We'll just make another loop de loop. Here we go. I don't know what that is, but now it is another loop de loop. Now I'm gonna mix a little tiny bit of black. So anytime you grab that black, you want to grab the tiniest, tiniest bit um, because it goes a long way. And I'm gonna make a brown a little bit darker. And it still has some white on there, but that's okay. I don't mind. Come in. And paint your stem. Now because this part of the stem was originally a little bit lighter, I'm going to come back in with my dark brown paint. And just darken it up, or at least make the colors flow a little bit together. Maybe take some here. And kind of keep overlapping them. I still have some green in here actually, which actually looks really cool. Because no pumpkin stem is just brown that I've seen. Do something like that. And you can let it dry. Anytime you do multiple coats, it's really good to just do one thin coat and let it dry. Or um, I always use a hair dryer because I get impatient. So there's the stem. Uh, let's go in. So we can outline, let's outline um, our flowers and then our actual banner here and maybe even our leaves. So you can take a detail brush for any of these. I'm going to take my round brush because I feel confident with a bigger round brush because I've been doing it for a long time. And so I'm going to start, I start up, down so I don't smear my hand in it. So I'm just really quickly just going to throw in some black outlines just kind of scattered around these leaves. It's not perfectly outlined, but I've got some on there. And then same here. Just a little bit on these leaves to make it pop. Right there. So I'll bring that up closer so you can just see it. A little bit here. And then the Sharpie that I see in these flowers, I'm just gonna start taking my paint with black and going around it. So it doesn't have to be like right on, uh, but it can if you really, maybe you want to take a sharpie to it instead, you certainly can. We're going to add some white to this as well. Keep going this way. And so I think my next challenge if I can schedule it in time actually before I do a winter one, which will probably be like snowman or something. Uh, my next challenge, I think I would really like to do um, like actually painting a pumpkin. Now, I'm not sure if pumpkin patches and stuff are going to be open. I'm sure there's got to be a place for people to get them. Uh, but I think I'm going to come up with something that way because I would really love to paint a pumpkin. Um, I'm not great at carving them, but I would really love to paint one and see what I can come up with. I know that um, there's a dental office that would do a challenge for other dental offices to submit your pumpkin and you can win a prize and the prizes were like an iPad or something crazy. Um, and that was really cool. And I saw a lot of really fun ones. All right, so let's finish up our petals here. So that just makes the flowers pop, right? We're gonna do a little bit more with them. Uh, let's grab, so let's do the banner. So you can grab either brown or your brown black mixture, or just black, either way. And I'm just gonna do the outline. So the outline of the banner. Ooh, I got another package, yay. And then I'm gonna come up here an outline. You might hear my dog start freaking out in a second because she hates hearing like those backup beeps of a a delivery truck. And she gets so angry and she starts barking. But the thing is, is she wouldn't do a darn thing to them if they came to the door. Then she would like look at them and just start like licking them. But she like attacks the window like she's going to eat them. And 
poor, like, one time we saw a UPS guy, and he was like, oh, yeah, I delivered, you know, the package. They start to know you and your address, and they're like, I thought your dog was trying to eat me. Uh, your dog doesn't like me. And I was like, because when we're not home, it's hard for her to, con you know, we can't control her. Um, and she just doesn't listen to me very well. Um, and Carrie's probably, like, biting her tongue. <laughs> she trains dogs. But, um, yeah, she gets crazy, crazy, crazy. All right, so I did a little bit of brown outline. See, I didn't outline it all. It's actually very broken lines here. Uh, and then I'm going to take some white and just kind of highlight certain areas too. So this white always makes it pop. Uh, no particular area. Just kind of throw some in there. Kind of like so. And I'm going to do the same thing with the leaves. Just throw some white in there. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the stem. I'm going to throw some white on top. Still pretty wet. Get some in the little loop-de-loop. -loop. Add some color there. And now the fun thing, I'm going to take the back of this brush. This is round. I'm going to take the back of it. And I'm going to find like the middle portion of the flower. You know what, let's do black first. Just kidding, I'm going to take black. So black on the back. Black on the back end of the brush. And I'm going to dot in a few black dots just in the middle of each flower here. Uh, I would say the middle is going to be here. And then I'm going to wipe off my brush. So now I'm going to, again, you can take a Sharpie. This is, it's easier. It just doesn't show really up as paint. So then we're going to do the word. So if you, um, a little tip, like if you didn't want grateful on there, my recommendation is to take a pencil and uh, pencil in the word you want first, not very dark, get your lettering right, get the the shape of the letters right that you want right, and then take a sharpie and go over it. So when you have the pencil line perfected, then take a sharpie and go over it. So that way you can continuously see it through the painting if you don't want to freehand it later. Um, for those of you who saw the post of these little mini bottles that I have sitting on the side, yes, they are for a special project. No. It is not this project currently of me drinking it, but it looked so good. And it's Monday, so, um, you know, why not? Every day is a, a weekend day for me here at home with the baby. I, I've lost track of the days. Okay, so let's do that lettering. So again, take a detailed brush if you want or a Sharpie. I'm going to take this brush and very lightly, I'll probably only get one letter or even part of a letter before I re-dip into my paint. And then I'm going to continue on here. Like so. So as I'm doing this, um, another fun opportunity that I was invited to that you guys have all seen. If you're not on the email list, this you probably wouldn't have seen it if you didn't even look at my posts. But um, I know Facebook has some really weird algorithms, um, but I was invited to this really cool um, on oops <laughs> uh, online art camp, basically uh, for adults. So it's a online craft retreat for women, and I was asked to paint a canvas tutorial. And that tutorial, I'll show you the canvas here in a second, is a fall gnome, super cute. Um, right now, it's only available if you sign up for that retreat, and the fun part right now is until tomorrow, tomorrow would be the last day, uh, it's buy one, get one free, so registration is $50, and then you get to give a free registration to your friend, or whoever you want to, or what you can do with your friend is be like, hey, uh, you know, do you want to split this $25, I'll buy the registration, and then I can send you, you know, your free one or something as well so that would be cool um there's over 25 i think artists in there and it's just different types of art so uh, i think there's jam making cookie decorating uh, all kinds of fun things so the link is somewhere um if you scroll down on my posts you'll find the link to that um, and that will take you to at least check it out you don't have to register obviously to see if that's something you're interested in and you get access for a full year. 
lots of fun stuff to do on your own time. So you could even be like, hey, every Tuesday, come over. We're going to do one of these classes. All right, look at that. It's starting to come live, right? So let's go. What do I want to do? I might go back into the stem, but we're also going to add some white dots. So, so we did some black dots in the flower. I'm going to come back and add some white dots right above it or around it or within it. I don't mind if I touch those black dots. I'm just coming in to add a little fun to these here. You can come in with more black if you want to as well. Just kind of make some pop. There we go. And now I'm going to do one final coat on this stem because it was still wet when I was doing it. So I'm going to come in and add some brown here. So with acrylic paint, especially with deco art, which is like a craft paint, right? It's already got a ton of filler in it. Um, you know, if you go to Liquitex Basics, that's like a step up, so it's not as much filler. Uh, you don't really want to mix with water unless you're trying to create like some sort of wash. Uh, because it's just going to be too runny and too transparent. And if you're trying to get that look great, but there's some really common transparent, transparent colors when we paint. So like brown can be pretty transparent. Uh, you know, yellow can be pretty transparent. Purple. Um, and sometimes you just need more than one coat. So that's why I say do a thin coat. Be patient with that coat and then come back. So take a blow dryer or something. It'll thicken up or it'll lighten it too, but you can always mix it with a base, like white or something. All right, what do you guys think? Should we, we should add some swirls down at the bottom too. Kind of give it a little excess. I'm gonna take this and just do some swirlies here. Uh, and then coming up soon, I'm still in the middle of filming it because I have to actually go places to film it. Um, but in the Happy Little Painters Club, I'm going to teach you how to create your own porch sign, uh, build it, actually, what wood to get. And that's only if you're not grabbing just a slab of wood, right? Um, so in person, I was building these really cool, I guess they're a little bit wider, uh, porch signs. So I'm going to teach you how to do that. And then uh, I actually have a really good opportunity coming up to... Um, and I'm hoping it works out really well. It's still kind of in the testing phases. But so like my um, interchangeable truck that I had for a while that everyone loved, but I couldn't ship it um, further than U.S. And shipping was expensive. Um, I have an opportunity, you know, I, I couldn't keep those in stock. I don't have the room for that. So it's, it's something coming up to where I can ship things to you. And so the Happy Little Painters will get a discount on that finally if it works out. So it's well worth the, I would say it's well worth the $40 because if you just join one virtual event that's paid, it's already half right there. And then you get access to tons of them in at least three a month. So I hope you join. I hope to see you guys all in there. If you ever have any questions, you can message me. If you have questions about the group, message me. Um, I'm a very open book. If it's not your thing, it's not your thing. But if you absolutely love it, I love that. All right, looking good, you guys. What do you think? Kind of fun, right? Fall, whimsical. It's still kind of like a, that transition between summer and fall. I really love it. All right, so um, that was the tutorial and that was the intro to the Happy Little Painters Club. So I'm gonna be live every day this week to talk about what is coming next. So um, I'm gonna have the October calendar that I'll probably show you guys. And then I also want to go over, oh my gosh, there's a cat climbing the side of the house. <laughs> um, I'm going to go over individual stages. So in there, I kind of have like this, you know, where are you on your painting journey? So stage one, stage all the way to stage five. Are you a creative Bob? This is in Bob stages, so I'll show you. Are you just an artistic Bob? Are you an eager Bob? Who knows? So what are each of those stages? I will let you guys know. So um, tune in tomorrow. I'm not sure what time yet, but it'll probably be mid lunchtime again. Um, so tune in and I can't wait to see you. See you later. Bye.